right, folks, this week we join Jason and Carl as they head out to Montgomery Outdoor Adventures in Ohio to try to kill some big Midwest bucks. All right, well, here we are on the road to Ohio, Montgomery's Outdoor Adventures. Here we come. Carl and I are heading to Ohio. We tagged out in PA. Yesterday was the last day of the archery season in PA, the early archery season actually in PA. So today is Sunday. November 16th, and we are on the road to Ohio. Right now we're on the Pennsylvania Turnpike heading west. And we can't wait to get there, unload, and head to the tree we're gonna sit in the first morning or the first day and set some things up for us for tomorrow. Carl's hunting first. He let me hunt first in Kentucky, so I'm letting him hunt first in Ohio. And hopefully he gets the job done right away. And then I get to hunt the rest of the week. <laughs> Wait for a booner. We're excited. We can't wait to get there. On the road. WWDO style. We're still on the road on the PA Turnpike. We got uh, another 54 miles till we get off on Interstate 70 West. And we just ran into some snow flurries. So it's cold. It's gonna be cold when we're out here. And what does the cold do? Gets the big bucks moving. So Carl and I are heading out to kill two big bucks. Montgomery's Outdoor Adventures. Stay with us. World Went Dark Outdoors here on the Pursuit Channel. All right, folks. Well, we just crossed the state line into West Virginia. We're only going to be in West Virginia a tiny bit, and then we're hitting Ohio. And Carl and I cannot wait to get there and check the spot out and hang stands, camera arms, and get ready for tomorrow. Because it's on like Donkey Kong, we're killing big bucks. Montgomery's Outdoor Adventures, here we come. All right, folks, well, we just filled up with gas for the first time on this trip since we left. And we are about 40 minutes away from Montgomery's Outdoor Adventures, where we're staying for the week. And Carl and I cannot wait to get there. We actually, just before we got off the exit here, Carl saw a giant walking across a green field at 1043 in the morning. So we're hoping that that tells the story for our week here and we can kill a couple. So stay with us. As always, we're all went dark outdoors. Here we are. Oh, I might have service here. Let's hope Shane shows up soon. World Went Dark is brought to you by Mountain Hollow Game Calls, The Hooker Deer Drag, Executioner Broadheads, Lowe's Whitetail Deer Scent, Muddy Bottom Outfitters, and these other fine sponsors. The shortest distance to success is not always measured by the easiest path in life. Sometimes, a little extra patience goes a long way while in the outdoors. Sometimes, a little extra attention to detail separates a good broadhead from an exceptional broadhead. Sometimes, the choice is simple. Choose Executioner Broadheads the next time you're out in the woods. Executioner Broadheads, born to kill. This segment brought to you by Backwoods Taxidermy. Located in Potsdam, New York, Backwoods Taxidermy is your one-stop shop for all your taxidermy needs. 
Give them a call today at 315-386-4371. What do you do, rob a school? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? These things used to be the little bottles we got. And this last time they said, oh no, they switched to all cartons. And I was like, oh man. We got unpacked. We're waiting for Shane to get here. So we can go over some things and then go check out where we're hunting tomorrow morning. I think Carl and I might shoot our bows. I'm taking some pictures. And I know Carl and I are just chomping at the bit to get in a tree, so tomorrow morning can't come soon enough. Ohio, big bucks, Montgomery's Outdoor Adventures, here we are, Whirlwind Dark Outdoors. We just arrived, stay with us. Oh! Shane. How you doing, man? Jason Keffer. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, buddy. How you doing, How you man? Doing? Carl Esther. Nice to meet you, Carl. Nice meet you. Shane. Thanks for having us, man. That's all right. We were looking at the pictures. We're uh, we like them. These are old. Are they? I, yeah. I haven't yeah. had any printed off in about five years. No? No, not like that. Just to put up, I just, once they get so old, I just put them on the walls. So yeah, I'm yeah. Like, it's a nice place. Ah, uh, this is, we got about three places, and this is our, probably our oldest one. Really? Yeah. It's nice. Some of them are a little nicer than this, but. Yeah. For hunting, hopefully they're good. Works enough. for us. Yeah. <laughs> are we hunting them. right out back here? We can, but we're not going to right off the beginning. Okay. You know, we can actually hunt both sides of the road. Okay. But uh, uh, we, uh, we're we going to go to a, a spot that's not very far from here. Okay. That you guys set up for the next day or two. Okay. So we'll try that. So um, all you guys do is get your stuff and then we'll get over there and then I'll start hauling you in with a four-wheeler so you don't have to walk. Okay. And uh, get you set up. Okay. What are we? Are we taking stands in? What, what should we bring? Yeah, Climbers it. or um, lock-ons? There's some. There's some climber trees there. I, I think you can probably get away with your climbers. Okay. So, either way, it doesn't make any difference if you have you have the stands in your truck, anyways. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Because if we change your mind, you're it's not very far, and I can just take you in with the, put them in with the four wheeler. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just we'll look at it real quick. Okay. And then you guys, you do whatever you want to do. Then. Okay. The boys got to meet up with Shane Montgomery, the owner, and they even got to take a look at Reese Laufer's nice bow kill from the day before. Carl, look at this stud. Dude, he is nice, man. Yeah, Mike did a rough score when he was hanging. I think like 135, but he only had a half inch tape, so he couldn't do the quarter inches, so it might be plus or minus. So, thanks, man. Congratulations, Reese. Yeah, about it. That is awesome. He's a good one. Did yeah. you weigh him? Ah, uh, we didn't weigh him out. We, 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 he probably, he's a little light. He'd probably feel yeah, just about 175. Yeah, 160, 175. That's a good one. Yeah. A good one to feel just about two. Congratulations. Thanks, Bob. This is what we're looking for right here. Something like this, a little bigger, maybe even just one inch bigger. <laughs> There's bigger ones around, they're around. That's a good one, buddy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for you, man. After seeing that great buck, got the boys all excited. So let's hit the woods for morning number one. Here we are. Montgomery Outdoor Adventures. Shane Montgomery had us out in the middle of the It's our first sit. This morning it was pouring down rain. And uh, we decided to bag the morning on. But uh, it's about nine and we're out here. Snowing now. It's supposed to stop by 12, so we're going to sit all day. Jason Kemp will be on the camera. He's going to film it for the rest of the evening. We're hoping for a big old Ohio breeze to come walking. We're not real high up in the tree. I'm kind of nervous about that, but uh, it's the only tree we could find in this spot where we can climb up it, so I'm pretty excited. This place and carry some big bucks. Hoping we could put one on the ground tonight and we can take care of Jason the rest of the week. Stay tuned. We're excited. We're in the tree in Ohio. We're going dark outdoors. Right here on the Pursuit Channel.
This segment brought to you by The Buck Cage. Cage your next buck. Get yours today at buckcage.com. Simple. Efficient. Amazing. The Hooker Deer Drag. Patented. Made in the USA. Available online at hookerdeerdrag.com. Take a hooker to the woods with you. This segment brought to you by Hidden Armor Scent Elimination System. Hidden Armor destroys both bacterial and non-bacterial caused odors and keeps you hidden from that big buck all season long. Get yours today at hiddenarmor.com. great first morning. It was very cold, but they saw a pile of deer and almost a shooter. Now it's on a day two. All right, folks. Well, here we are in the tree morning number two. Like I said at the truck, it's frigid. We left our stands in here last night and everything is frozen. But we're going to stick it out as long as we can. It's supposed to be windy today, but Carl and I feel down in this valley that we won't get the brunt of it. We won't get as much of it. And if we don't, maybe the deer will like it down in here too. So we're hoping for a big old Ohio buck at Montgomery's Outdoor Adventures. <laughs> Stick with us. <laughs> the world went dark outdoors coming at you. Folks, no luck on a big buck in the morning. They did see some deer. Now it's on to the afternoon hunt. 
Alright folks, well, here we are, round two, on day number two, at Montgomery's Outdoor Adventures in Ohio. This segment brought to you by Lowe's Whitetail Scents. As Ricky Lowe says, you want to see more deer? You better smell like one. Get yours today at Lowe'sWhitetail.com. If you want to see more deer, you better smell like one. Drive rut-crazed bucks right into your hunting path with the most powerful estrus scent collected from real does. From their signature buck butter to the new rub and ride, all of Lowe's deer scents are vacuum sealed for freshness. For buck butter, wet deer cover scent, fatal attraction, suicide buck, and more, get yours today at www.loweswhitetail.com. Morning number four. We're in a new spot, and Carl and I love this spot. We can see a good way somewhere between feed and bed. It's just cracking light, and we're open for that big boy. Folks, the boys are seeing tons of deer out here at Montgomery Outdoor Adventures in Ohio. But it's on to day five, and things get off to a quick start. All right, so here we are, Mr. Shane Montgomery, Montgomery's Outdoor Adventures. It has been an amazing week. We saw a ton of deer. And unfortunately, we're going home eating tag soup because I can't remember to turn on my GoPro before the deer gets there, I think. And because the does picked us out in the tree yesterday and Carl couldn't get it done, and we just seen, we probably seen five or five, 
maybe six shooters, I don't even know, and a bunch of does, a bunch of little bucks, a bunch of deer. You got a great operation here, man. Well, and it's uh, sorry you didn't get one. It's just the, the weather was a little, the wind hey, uh, for a couple of days kind of helped. Yeah. What are you going to do? It's That's haunting, man. Yeah. That's, that's haunting. That's and exactly it's been right. fun. The accommodations were awesome. You did everything you could for us. It was, it's not your fault, it's our fault we didn't well, kill nothing. That's hunting, you know, if you got them every time, it wouldn't be as fun. So. This is true, this so, is true. <laughs> well, it goes, but, uh, I, appreciate I think it's safe to say we'll be back. All right, buddy, I, I appreciate it. I think it's safe it. to say that. And I'm glad you guys had a good time, and hopefully we next did. year we'll, we'll at least fill one tag. We did, <laughs> we'll certainly give it our best. Right. We'll have fun trying anyway. All right. We had yeah. fun this week. All right. So this is Shane Montgomery, Montgomery's Outdoor Adventures. Look for his number on the screen. You can get in touch with him and book a hunt. Trust me, it's going to be the hunt of a lifetime. Well, folks, that's why they call it hunt. No luck for the boys on this trip, but Shane out here at Montgomery Outdoor Adventures definitely has a deer. Folks, thanks for tuning in this week. Join us next week as we follow Ken Hamill in the PA rifle season. Folks, thanks again for watching this episode of WWDO TV. Real quickly, I want everybody to do me a favor and head on over to OneWishFoundation.org. This is, this is a company we partnered up with this year for the TV show, and everybody here, including myself, we're very passionate about this foundation. It's a great organization run by great people. It's one wish, one dream, one life, one memory that lasts forever. Check them out, onewishfoundation.org. Thank you.